The, the god Shiva is represented on the Himalayan art website as both being a, from a Hindu point of view, from a Shaiva Hindu point of view, but also represented from a, a Vajrayana Buddhist, a, a Tantric Buddhist point of view. And uh, the, the, two, the two ways of, of approaching Shiva are very different. Um, so there's many different uh, types of literature out there from, from possibly the Buddhist side, from, from the Hindu side, from even a Vaishnava side. There's a lot of different literature. But there are some very good books that talk about Shiva from a, um, a, basically a, a faith-based point of view. There's also good books talking about Shiva from from a literature point of view and, and from narratives and what are the earliest references and what are the, the, the Puranas and what do they have to say? What are the stories? Um, there are out of India, there's a number of good uh, publications dealing with the with the art and with the iconography. Um, some of these don't have pictures, but but some of them are extremely useful for the iconography. Now, what I want to talk about is what I think is a monumental book, a book that stands above all others, and it's based on uh, a museum exhibition that was done in 1981, the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Uh, the curator was Stella Cramrish, and the, the exhibition was called Manifestations of Shiva. And this, I believe, is one of the very best publications on Shiva done up to the present time. And yes, it was a long time ago, 1981. But this uh, exhibition was monumental. I actually personally saw it. I saw it in Seattle, actually. Um, because it was a traveling exhibition. I think it went to three or four venues. And I think Seattle was the last venue, and I saw it there in 1981. Um, now, the, the catalog, of course, will be long out of print, the exhibition catalog, but it's possible that it can be found maybe through Abe Books or, or a used bookstore. I don't know if there's a PDF available. Basically, the catalog is divided into three sections. Uh, first of all is monumental sculpture. Second is processional images and altar pieces. And third is paintings. Um, the paintings, of course, are very late. A lot of Mughal miniatures, but that's fine. Extremely beautiful. Um, the processional images and altar pieces, uh, some of that refers more to the symbolic attributes of, of Shiva. Uh, the really um, stunning pieces uh, in this publication are the monumental sculpture and they are really truly over the top in terms of quality and also the, 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 the time periods and the regions that they're coming from are very, very good. So this book I recommend very highly for any kind of uh, study in art of, uh, of Shiva. Manifestations of Shiva by Stella Cramrich, uh, Philadelphia Museum of Art, 1981. So press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon for longer videos and uh, a deeper dive into various subjects. And um, you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources and help support the work we do because we, we can't keep the website um, live unless we have donations from the public who are you out there who watch our videos. So thank you very much.